Alright. Okay. Stream is live. And, uh, the cat is running around. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. <laughs> to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. Wow. What's up here? Let the waiter clean up after himself. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could steal anything from her. Oh yeah, that's his calculator thing. Okay. 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 What is this? Calavera, it is indeed a great oh, yes. day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. I don't really want to do that. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I don't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, goodness. What's over here? I haven't talked to these lovely fellows yet. Terry. Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh, uh the solution that makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew ways like that. 
If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? <laughs> you got his illegal You guys know too. a seaman, Naranja? Nah, sea bees and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way the things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. All right, let's get out of here. Turkey baster. Oh, yeah, that's it. I thought it was a. Looks like a turkey baster. Yeah. Oops, let's use that there. <laughs> okay. Now let's get out of here. And we see that this chicky here, she uh, she fell asleep. Hey, hmm. stop that. No effect. Stop it. She fell like super asleep. Is Gladys in the high rollers lounge yet? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I've done that yet. Hey wizard, how'd you doing? Can I call you wizard? I hope I can call you wizard. <laughs> I uh... No, I haven't given that to him yet. But I think I still have that card. The VIP card. I'll give it to him later. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to go find Naranja. Oops. I don't know if this is the way I need to be. <laughs> All right, then you're wizard now. <laughs> I got a turkey baster of stuff, so I'm gonna go put that in Naranja's drink, and hopefully he's gonna fall asleep. Push me to edge, Calavera. It's empty. Yeah, I got to remember to get more liquid nitrogen from more Liquid nitrogen? Freeze the bones, less painful that way. Hey, that sounds good. I could go for that. 
I saw him yesterday. Painkiller in that bottle of yours, so shut up and hold still. Accidentally. It's empty. I don't. You slow down my grinder. Very painful. Very painful, eh, Naranja? Like torture. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. Okay. 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 There's my baster. Get this open. Where's the baster? There it is. Hey, who is over there? Nobody. Nobody's over there. <laughs> you broke it. No, it won't shut. <laughs> I am the master baster. You are correct. Nemozogia, hold still, what are you? Dead? Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Reset Chavargo. What kind of sailor are you? Can't handle bulls, huh? What you tell us gonna know? But Engem at the Nam folks give his at me. The tell you I shan't ball on the watch. That sucks. Well, let's bro. go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. Am I here? Well, he sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Let's see what you got on you. Huh, sailor? Are you kidding me? Semen and Selmo Naranja and some I gave him class. the idea Doesn't in look the first like you place. showing up to work in the morning. Ah, Tiger can't change his stripes. I already searched him pretty thoroughly. All right, let's get out of here. So, you still going? Ah, uh, hang on a second. Ah, 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 ah. Get away from that. Hey, listen to me. You got to take care of yourself. Okay. All right, I've taken care of Naranja. And I don't know what I need to do. I do remember though that this bottle here supposedly has gold flakes in it. Oops, come back here. Well, maybe just a sip. Yeah. Ah. Nice. All right. I wonder if that that's enough. Uh, no, actually, I wanted that on, and then I wanted to come over here. I didn't mean to close that. Oh, goodness. All right. club anymore well to tell you the truth manny it's your little coat check girl all that bubbly energy i just want to strangle her i've tried that <laughs> it doesn't stop her so <laughs> is it time for your break yet i t kind of romantic though don't you think <laughs> sir if you will please place all of your belongings on the security desk
Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny. I almost got to strip search you. I thought this thing had gold in it. What's going on? Let's try it again. Yeah, it says gold. Well, maybe just a sip. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. No. Rules are rules. <laughs> and of course, with well, my listen. dad being in the military, we in, moved uh, around a lot. Mm -hmm. in, I in, remember this in one the town underworld we moved to does. when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. No, no, me neither. I always like dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. Well, maybe I it's had to be six bolt. because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Maybe it's now, got iron in it. was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... <laughs> I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? Oh, <laughs> she is just... Don't get me wrong, yeah. the boys would ask, but no, so I, I just run away. I don't even need to My answer. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once she in a just while. keeps talking. She always said, a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Holy Was cow. I supposed to smile when the <sighs> cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Oh maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig. And Mr. Rufus, <laughs> and I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating me. figs and and yeah, figs. And I'd, oh, mother! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. <laughs> Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? No way. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> where was I? Oh, yeah. So the only industry in town was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I think you were just at the part about your metal detector. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Actually, Actually I did. I did come back here just for your metal detector. Yeah. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. I want the metal detector. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. I'm really not entirely sure why he's, he's so interested in the metal detector, though. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security- And then jump out the damn window. Okay. Oh, Carla. Alright, I'll just leave you. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Aww. <laughs> um, wait. No, wait. Uh... I don't know where she dropped that. Was it over here? No. <laughs> well, unfortunately, um, she's here in the, in the afterlife. I don't think she's going to get the help and support she needs. Where am I? Oh. Huh. 
Hi, who are you? Nick Virago. What are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little oh. lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. Whoops. Oh, you dropped your key. <laughs> So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. No, we just need someone for the <laughs> dunking booth over at the club. Funny guy. Oh, boy. I don't know where she dropped this thing. Let's go through here. No. Nope. Let's try down. Stories about the afterlife being a place for us as souls to find peace during. That's true. That's true. Um, but I think they uh, they said that. Uh, well. That's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh no. Rubicava, I think that's where we're at. Rubicava is the place where people give up. They don't continue on their journey. Let's see. That's not gonna search. That's not gonna search. Let's try that. Scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Uh, right, right there. Right, right there. Aha! Did I find it? Nice. Yeah. A little stinky, Poor but lady. it could be worse. Carla? I think that was her name. Okay, I don't know why I have a metal detector. But I do know, I think I took dog tag. And if we remember, if, if, wow, if we remember, there is uh, two bodies in the morgue area, if I can figure out where that is. We can put that on the body, and, uh, it can be like Naran has died. Again. You're correct. He did have some pretty terrible tools for uh, metal detecting. I don't remember where he's located though. Was he up? That's the metal detector, and that's the metal. Uh, use.
Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Well, hey, listen, I have a metal detector. Would you like that? What? Take that. Would a metal detector help the cause? It might. It might help the cause. Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this will turn <laughs> off. An engraved ring. Haunted house. Haunted house. the house. Terror town is it. adorable. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thanks for looking at my channel. Holy cow. <laughs> oh. That's super nice of you. <laughs> huh. Velasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. That was a very nice, um, poem that you had. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. It was just so cute, I couldn't help it. <laughs> Finish talking to you, sir. Virago, I think his name is. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? I'm starting a class action suit. Lots of money involved. Who are you deep pocketing? What's the difference to you? They're loaded. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Mm. Who would you say is the best lawyer you know? I am just stroking this guy's ego. Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. No, I'm still talking to you. 
How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes. They keep themselves pretty clean. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a <laughs> white-footed tabby in gate it's two true. that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's going to pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose. <laughs> but nobody knows, and I'm going to make a mint. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. Virat, well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? Oh. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. I really just wanted you to leave so I could pick up this thing that has a key in it. We'll just this is gonna get me in trouble. That's fine. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Okay, I'm gonna look at it. It's Virago's cigarette case. Hmm. All right, well, let's go take it to um, this little. I don't think it would be a good idea girlfriend. to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Girlfriend thing. Carla. Carla? No, Carla's my person. Well, let's try Carla. Um. I think it's my, uh, my little, my, my coat check girl. It sounded like my coat check girl. What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Let's yes. just put yes. Oh my god. Give me that. Okay. It's a bomb. <laughs> nice. Ha ha! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. Oh, rude. <laughs> Lupe. Yeah. My coat check girl. Who's Chief Bogan? You know what? It's fine. I'll just... What was Nick doing with this key? Hmm. Yeah, it is. I like the safety detonator. not a good place. Have I ever been to the lighthouse? I don't think I've ever been to the lighthouse. Oh, 
Um, oh, I, uh, I... Sprouted? What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. Nice. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. Uh, about that the union police station. card, Manny. I have one. I just left it in my other coat. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good. Because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I think he just called me a tool. It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself how the moon that, that night cast, cast its light, light on my heart's true delight, delight and, and the reef where her body was, was strewn. Well, okay. All right, I think that was all I needed to know here. Um, let's try here. There's a lighthouse. Let's go look at the lighthouse. I don't think I've been to the lighthouse yet. That was, it was a beautiful poem. I don't know how they both knew it, but it was a beautiful poem. Wait, why do I have that up? It's locked. Oh, that's, let's try it. Whoops. There we go. Lola? Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola! Did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad. But he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. I found you know, her. I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Oh. Lola! There's the picture. Or is that the picture? No, oh, Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. I... Is that a cat? Or is that her coat? Hmm. <laughs> I feel you, wizard. Me too. It was so sad. We barely even knew her. So far, this... I hadn't. I'm glad you knew that. Because, um... I had no idea. Hey. Evening, Lupe. Interesting. 
This Hi, game's... Mary. Whoa. This game's very interesting. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. I didn't say anything. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Um... Well, do you want this card? Hey! This is a card for my new coat check system! You do care! Can I have my coat, please? You bet! This is so exciting! Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Hold on. She's so cute. I hope she doesn't end up sprouted. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay. Why do I have a jacket? Am I going to try to put it on? Oops. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pop. Whoops. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? All that this paper says is number... Th what is that supposed to mean? Is it another card with a picture on it? Number 36, the rusty anchor, huh? You know what this means, Gladys? I haven't talked to you that yet. Ooh, a request! Hmm, Rusty Anchor. Rusty Anchor! Yeah, I, I think I know that one! If I remember right, it goes a little something like this. Oh, my boat's got a rusty anchor. Rusty as she can be. Every port I go, I drop her, but she always come back to me. Oh, rusty anchor, going down, down, down. Oh, rusty anchor, guess I gotta hang around. Now I love that rusty anchor. But man, she don't love me. Hell, this morning I woke to find us both a drifting out to sea. And every chance I get, I thank her for never leaving me. Well, my bones are carved up driftwood, but she won't never set them free. Oh, rusty that. anchor going down. Yes, you gotta hang around. Well, what'd you think? I thought you were created just to drive. Well, over the years, you know, even a demon dabbles here and there. Maybe I'll save this in a new spot and go back to the other one and try to have him sing Lingua. Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Let's see. What's, uh... Manuel, I'm sorry to hear that you have not heard from your meche. You must be patient. Let your heart remain open. If it is meant to be, you will someday be reunited. Ha! Huh. He still thinks I'm in love with her. 
Manuel, we have found the head of the serpent. Using the computer access you provided us, we picked up a thread that led us to the man who corrupted the Department of Death. His name is Hector Le Mans. Once a small-time racketeer, he has grown fat and powerful by robbing the newly dead. Watch out for the name Hector Le Mans, Manuel. And be careful. Hector Le Mans. Dear friend, our movement now has true momentum, and our numbers are rapidly growing. Much of this is due to our communications and intelligence systems, both of which we owe to you. Okay. In light of your contributions, I would like to announce your promotion to special agent status. I, Salvador Limones of the Lost Souls Alliance, salute you, Manuel Calavera. You are a great ally in this noble revolution. Great news. We've discovered a new secret talent of our tiny messengers. We don't know how they do it, but these mysterious birds can actually find their targets just by looking at a photograph of the addressee. To celebrate, Eva has made them all little berets. I'll send you some pictures. Okay. Manuel, I am troubled by reports of you buying the automat and converting it into a nightclub. It's fine for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay. But I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It is not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's so much going on. Think of the poem. I liked it. It was sad and beautiful, like my mother. I despised it. It was too short. It said nothing to me. Like I did, father. and they said they'd I sold them. I had no feelings about it. It was aloof and licked itself too much, like my cat, Mr. Trotsky. These are the only ones who talked to me. Yeah, the CBs said they uh, but don't they sold you see? their two when the tools government fades away, to, so um, will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight to off feed their the families. return of capitalism. I don't know that if I got sort of fascist fascist thinking is dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Be it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. This, this took a dark turn. Hold on. Buenas noches, comrades. Hey, Manny, no offense, but we don't have time for establishment types like yourself. What makes you guys think I'm so establishment? You smell like bacon and oppression, man. Okay. They sound like they are part of a revolution. I am also part of a revolution. I think they would appreciate that. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? Mm. I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera. That's a right. great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? Because you can't put talk me about down. my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. What? Wow. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Can I have that? Would you catch mine if I dug on this book for a while? <laughs> Knock yourself out, brother. This is... Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> that was kind of embarrassing. That was like my dad trying to talk like the cool kids. <laughs> that was like me trying to talk to my brother now. <laughs> All right. 
Labor organization and revolt made easy. Oh. Chapter one, the workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. Yeah, let's not show that to Glottis, but we should show this to the worker bees. Since they don't know how to, how to do their stuff. All right, let's talk to you one more time. What's the buzz, boys? That's bad down here, Manny. It's like it's like we want to control the means of, of like uh. You bees gotta be strong. Easy for. Okay. Yeah, they won't even talk to me about it anymore. Let's give you this. It could be. It could be a cat. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I think these could are the be. words you're looking for. The workers. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Yeah, that's right. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? Yeah. I say we fight back. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. So I'll go to the cat race again after this. And see what I can that see about the rusty anchor. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Yeah, I do. Let's go to the cat race. Um, this way. Anybody there? Look, uh. I told you, we don't have any kitty hats today. What? what? You have to wait until Tuesday. That's kitty hat day. I don't want a kitty hat. Fine with me. What's your bet then? I don't gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why did you call me down here? For the friendly conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's start by saying if I can talk to dude. Nope, dude's not there. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go give my, uh... My... <laughs> I want a kitty hat too. It sounds amazing. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Are you sure? All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Start talking to people about my paper. Let's see if anybody knows what's going on with it. Let's see, we've got a tattoo guy over here, right? Nope, run, run, Manny, run.
Yeah, 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 yeah. He is asleep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think sure. that will shed any light on things. Uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure. It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Okay. There's a statue. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skeeter, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? I don't know. What is that? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Lola's dead. Right. Sure, of course, I understand. Lola's super dead. Okay. Let me look at this photograph. Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. Aw, oh, that's adorable. For 114. Six. Do I have to make a... a... a ticket for this? What is this? No, I don't want to do that. Why did I get back, go back down there? Definitely. No. Let's see if we can find out when, um, when that, bl when that blimp, hold on, um, I got the picture from, from the tattoo guy, because I showed him the rusty anchor paper, and he said it was one of his most famous designs, and Lola had given it to him. Now I'm gonna try to talk to her about this picture. I don't think that would shed any light on things. I think it would. All right, let's put it back. <laughs> I just started asking people. Hey. Okay, I called my cat Boney till she said it wouldn't do. I said, I said, why? She, she said, said sister, because that's, that's what, I've what I've been calling, calling you. That's adorable. Okay. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well, you are bugging you out later, and you're not you. helping. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, I did start with the tattoo artist. He was closest, though. Let's see, will you tell me what's going I on here? I don't think that would shed any light on things. I really think it will, Manny. Just start asking people. Because clearly you and I are getting nowhere. Let's go see if Lupe or, uh, or, uh, someone knows what's going on with this picture. Lupe or Gladys? Probably not Gladys. 
I don't think Gladys pays attention to a lot of stuff. But let's go talk to Lupe. I don't think that would shed any light on things. I think it would, Manny. <laughs> I don't think that would shed any light on things. Come on, dude. Let's see, do you know what's going on in this picture? I don't picture? think that would shed any light on things. Nope. Oh, it's Chief Bucket. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Number two, do you the know, winner? some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Your tips, monsieur. <sighs> oh, I thank you. The only other person who would know is either the lawyer or, um, Maximino. So let's try one of those. One of those guys. Yes, I do. I do remember that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What does that device do? Can I screw someone over by using that device? Like maybe the chief? Listen, that's, that's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> All right. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, please some press people your say bets. you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Police Chief Bogdan, finest. Rubacaba's only, for that matter. Le jeu sont fait. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. All right, but okay, let's just come. Let's go upstairs. I was hoping I could see what he's betting on. But I can hear it from upstairs.
Le numéro gagnant, le 28 noir, Perepaz, 28, black. Mesdames et ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, no more. Le numéro gagnant, le zéro, perd un manque. Zéro. I don't know what that does. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go see if I can talk to a dude about his, about asking Olivia to marry him. Tell me what's going on with this. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Did it? I might have to use that for something. Ever I see. Hmm. Hey. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Dude's not back. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Okay. This device. I don't know what any of these mean. It's a betting stub for, let's see, Monday, week one, race one. I didn't know I could be up here. Oh, what are you? No, oh, hold on. I don't have the remote, and I don't think they get any other channels anyway. Race results. Okay. Not picking that up. I don't have the remote, and I don't think they get any other channels anyway. I don't have the remote, and I don't think they get any other channels anyway.
Can anybody tell me when Maximino tried to pose and his blimp fell down? Wake up, is it? Hey, I'm trying to get some. Okay. No, I have questions. Anybody there? I told you, we don't hear. The blimp, I think, oh, said uh, Olivia Lane Mary. Original. Give me one good reason not because I'll tell Max to. Let me examine it again. He used the blimp because it says "Marry me, Olivia?" Question mark. Question mark. Um, which is why I'm trying to figure out what day he had used that blimp to try to propose to Olivia, because that's the blimp that crashed and burned. I can't remember what day that was. Ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Well, let me just use uh one of these two has to be six. Let me try this as six. Huh. Oops. I put it back. I tried. It said uh it said I don't think that'll help help us. I've tried showing it to everybody. Let's make this one six. Anybody there? I told you we'd hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> Both of them have to be six? Yeah. The day of the week is the questionable part. That's it, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up, I'm sorry. I have to. I don't want to be wandering around so much. Otherwise, we're wandering around with no idea. Okay, I found it. Don't judge me. I'm sorry. I won't look any more up, I promise. Anybody there? I'm not an intelligent individual. Oh, here. Another Chow Chilla Charlie original. Thanks. <laughs> Can't Blizzard. get enough of these. So am I, actually. Ah. No, that was it. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Week two, Tuesday. Race six. Print that. That's what I did. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hi. Betting stuff, please. What? I need the betting stuff for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? And the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Aha! What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. Nice. What did I do? I don't know what I did. Jacket. Aha! It's Lola's last work. A juicy photo of Nick and Olivia kissing. Nice. Oops. Oops. I think that guy was up to something. Yeah, Don't you, was. Doug? Doug doesn't like Doug? to talk to anybody. Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts. They are the same person. I think you're nuts. <laughs> Ah, you're back. Guess what? I have a picture for you. Oh, it's 5.15. We've already been Look going for I an hour. At the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. Whoa. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Maybe. Almost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Oh, rude. Rude. for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving okay. area. Let me go up to the bees. Free bees! Free bees! Free bees! Free bees! We're 
we're strong. strong. We, we fight. fight. We're killing bees, right. Manny. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do it in time, all right? Okay. Sorry. From the top. Hell no, we won't work. Hell, Hell no, we won't, won't work. work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. Revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Okay, I don't know why I have that. That's a baster. That's a key that I used. That's a jacket. It's Lola's jacket. And that's my scythe. <laughs> now, what about these tools? Where are they? They're too big for Gladys. We'll bring them when we board. Huh. Uh, about that, I have one. <laughs> Don't just sit around you. Right. Okay. Uh. I do not know what I need to do. Is it? No, go. What? I I broke the game for a second. like the pantry. <laughs> Busy as ever, I see. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Whoa. Why did I do that? What are you doing? Yeah, what am I doing? some wine. Oh, look at what a mess you have made. Get out of here. Hey, what about my vino? It's not self-serve. You'll just have to wait until I get around to it. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Wake up, is it? Hey! I'm trying to get you. Okay. <sighs> hey! I want to go down. I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Okay. <sighs> You know what? I'm gonna spill the wine again. And I think that's what I'm gonna end this one on. I told you to stay out of here. <laughs> I wouldn't have to come in here if the service were a little faster. <clears throat> yeah, rude. Yeah. Ooh, I can talk to him. Yeah, the music's really nice, isn't it? Hello, Maximino. Well, this game has got Calavera. amazing Come to see music. How the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Oh, well, tell me. I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? Yeah, in a second. No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel I'll for years. I'll be back years. tomorrow, though. You shouldn't even joke around about their character uh, like that. Same time. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. Well, I'll let you just came. Do I have a picture? Can I show him the picture? Nope, I don't have a picture anymore. Oh my gosh, this has taken a very long time to try and get to where I need to go. But for now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end, end the stream, end the stream. Um, but I'll be back again tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Standard Time, uh, for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half like I did today and yesterday. I really wanna get through this part. We need to follow Meche. Um, thanks for coming out, wizard especially, since you've been here every single day. Um, and hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!